Okay, so process is finished, and now we continue. I'll just uh, we I'll just clear this. And then we just move into uh, our directory. I'm going to run npm uh, npm start. Okay, it should be here now. Yeah, it's here. This, so this is our static app that we were working with. Um, I'll move this one down here. Okay, this one down here, probably move it a bit higher when I need it. Um, and I'll add another workplace folder for our real number plate. Now this will be tricky to, to identify, but it should be alright for a real number plate app. So here we have the file, okay. This file is what we have from our, our static file that you know we made the other time. Git pull. Git pull on this, so we have up to date. I use different computers, two or three other computers. So this is the one we have that is uh, on top now, which is good now. Okay. And we should be able to hide that. <coughs> no, sorry. I wanted to add another of our files. So we know this is our React app. This is where we're going to spend most of our time. This is our app CSS. Um, the test. We won't be doing any tests today. This is the uh, the boilerplate now. Um, so we do not. I don't want to to watch it. Now if I do this, uh, app CSS, this is where we're going to have a lot of our app, yeah. Remove that. And then we go here, assets, uh, style sheets. We have uh, resets first. We will do the resets. Anyway, let's select everything here and copy. We'll do the resets come to our index CSS everything we need to be reset put it up here and then we'll just do something like that and say um, elements I think elements should go in here and we say all copy because elements apply to everything so it should just be no-brainer to go to index all our problems and um, I should just run this yeah while it's running and then app CSS that copy and then on the app CSS and app JS and now we go back here all we want from this file is stuff okay that file I need it there so I have to put it there kind of but now I need our app JS this is our file we're gonna change everything here see it says welcome to react if I change it to say welcome to number plate it should work and it should say welcome to number plate once it finishes compiling there so you see it says number plate right there now we want to remove all this all this yeah and to remove this I don't like using these things because you have to go with one standard this thing should fail now you see it's all red nice and cleanly red but we're going to use something called um, a wrapper so this wrapper this div wrapper 
I'm just going to not explain everything but I probably just you know we are not using this just close it and say div on it and that's valid now and here inside we can just say h1 I really need to learn how to do things properly how to teach properly I'll get there you see now everything should pass nicely and we say number plate up there is I want to separate the the header of you know uh, up header I want to have this up header and this is how you complete uh, syntax to be correct you have to use this when uh, it's like on an uh, on an input field you have to complete uh, JSX uh, requires you to complete things properly let me use better spacing so we can read these things in a nice way um, so JSX expect, expects you to complete things in a proper way you see they don't expect you to you know do things what does it uh, what is valid so I'm, I'm just gonna use classes I could use functions uh, which would be fine you know um, but I don't want to use functions I use classes so if I say uh, class up up header and we say it extends sorry extends uh, react uh, component right so that's 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 all you need and you just need to return a method render yeah every method every class has to return a render method and in our render we want to return uh, it has to well it has to not to return but it has to implement the render method and then the render method we want to return is basically this stuff here uh, no it's the header so I'm just going to actually I should just use the top wrapper instead yep. so and just say top wrapper top wrapper I think top wrapper should be fine top wrapper yeah so that's good and then we just go here and we grab everything that is in that is in the top wrapper so we grab everything and copy all that yeah you just say copy all that we go here and we stick it in here okay so there are a few things that we need to correct here div top wrapper is not being done properly and we need to move that properly yeah and then um so basically all html comments have to be removed yeah all the comments you have in html you have to remove things you don't need they shouldn't be in your document at all you don't need to leave comments because uh, this is a completed work it will be you know uh, expected corresponding JSX closing tag for input you see so this input field needs that to be valid any input field you have in here needs this to be valid yeah otherwise you get errors and errors and errors and basically yeah it looks valid it looks valid so you can move this to a different folder if you want to but basically it looks valid yeah and if I say let's let's see what it looks like now it's nicely compiled and that's what what we have so it's basically replace taking this class and running it in here and it should be it should be good so the next one that we need is I want to have first let's grab the footer okay. up footer okay this way and I just come here I'll use a class 
up footer okay extends component you don't have to say react component you can just say component because we're already importing the component up here we have react and component so you know basically you should read about eh6 uh, component uh, yeah and then we say render and in our render method we want to return however we return we need to encapsulate it and it's our footer it should be good we have our footer here okay looks good now what we need next is to come here and go to our form our form is nice and small we copy that go here I'm just going to create another class uh, that's our footer it should create another class and we'll call it our order form order form I think we're saying extends component and we render render returns nothing but it renders uh, well it returns and we want this one nicely put in there should be good and because of our form we should be able to fix our errors yeah we just do that that should go away and this one should go away as well input yeah this should go away as well so that's valid JSX and our thing should work just as good compile error keyword and used line order form yes so we haven't included our order form in our build so we say order form we want it here in the middle there should be good bing we have our order form and our react app is running so in the next video i'm going to implement the functions of this app thank you and see you ciao